First thing, I have just come to check how the fiberglass layer has dried. It does look really good. There are no air bubbles and it's very consistent and smooth. So I don't think I'm going to have an issue with putting multiple layers on. So my next job is to flip this around and I will focus on the front part of this wing. I've just taken the pieces I've done outside to dry. I will do another layer of PVA release agent on the top part of the rear wing now. I've just removed the bonnet so I can mask off the engine bay from the resin when I do the front course panels. So I'll go ahead and try and find a way of getting all this part of the bay secure. I have taped up the front bumper now, ready for the PVA release agent. I've also covered all four wheels and gone over the engine bed. I have gone around the car twice now with the PVA release agent, so that will be the final layer before I put the gel coat on. Now there's a bit of a dilemma with the way I am going to pull the panels off the car. 
I have a couple of options. Effectively, I need seven pieces off the car, two rear quarter panels, the sills, the front wings, and the front bumper. So there are a couple of ways I can try this. The first option, I could treat each panel as its own. So I would effectively gel coat the wing just however far I want to go down towards the front bumper and then try and pull that and hope for, hoping that there's not too much damage on the bodywork or alternatively I could cover the entire car so effectively make one piece and then use a Dremel to cut them up into sections and then there'll be the separate pieces that then I'll attempt to pull off the car. The first method of doing individual panels I also have the issue of not knowing exactly where I want the panel to start and end and once I have the panels off the car there's be a lot of work to get it all aligned. The second method could work quite well because if I have a millimetre gap where the panels are cut and effectively where the joins will be I think the that closer tolerance I could actually take up some gap and do, maybe do a slight overlap or a, a tidy butt up um, with the panels. So, I think at the moment I'm going for option two. It'll be a lot easier to do it all at once and then just hope there's not too much damage on the car in case I have to pull another mould. But I think it's probably the safest way. This morning I will have a go at pulling this mould. I will also try and extract these pieces which I can see are going to be very difficult. Well this piece came off easily and the good news is there's not too much damage if I have to do it again but there will be some repairs I'd need to do but um, in hindsight it's not overly bad, it's a big crack there now. I'll peel all of the PVA release agent off and then see what um, sort of finish we have. Overall this mould came out okay, there are a few areas that need attention though, there are the corners that I'll need to fill and repair before I take the panel and then also a section in the middle there somewhere. Generally it does look good though, um, it's very smooth so I just need to get all the PVA off. Before I continue pulling these panels I am going to get on with something that will take a while to dry so I will put the gel coat on the rear wing and the sides of the spoiler. So this piece took a little while to pull off. I ended up driving a screw into that end so I could get some leverage on it to pull it out of the mould. But um, there's minimal damage actually on this. Um, so again, if I need to repair it, I can. But I think it's good enough to um, take a panel from. I think what I will do with the aero for the doors, these pieces, is trim them up so they're somewhere near. I will have to take quite a bit off to get the alignment right when they go on the car so the bits around the edges that haven't stuck that well is not a problem. And then just put some PVA release agent on top of the existing PVA and just go straight from there because they're quite thin and vulnerable. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to sand them down and do all the prep work um, that I would do on another panel so I'm going to try with these just to um, carry them through as they are. I 
I'm now going to put the gel coat on the rear quarter. Problem with a windy day. gone over the entire car with the gel coat now it's less than ideal conditions it's pretty windy outside and there's actually cherry blossom getting blown inside onto the gel coat but I presume they'll just pull off okay but um, yeah I'll let this dry out and then I will probably gel coat the aero pieces for the doors carry on prepping the rear wing and then I can look at potentially five got start the five glassing on the Top part of the rear wing and the sides. I'm going to put the gel coat in these pieces now. 